Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today I'm revisiting like a real old game I used to play way back then when Wolf MMO was around. Uh, but now it's I'm not Wolf MMO anymore, so yeah. I just returned to this game and I looked that I have quite a bit of rewards just waiting for me. So I'm gonna grab these. I don't know what they are because I haven't played in a long time. Oh. They're better gears, that's what it is. Valkyrie, so they're pretty much just a Valkyrie set for the character I just got, I guess. Alright, interesting. Uh, what's in social? I have people that haven't played as long as I have, and that's about a year. Jeez. I have no requests. But yeah, these people stopped playing like long ago. Yeah, let's just clear this list, because they're not coming back. Uh, Alright, so, what heroes do I have? I have quite a bit. Yeah, where I left, last left off, they were all pretty much five stars. Uh, but I did get another character. She should be six star, right? No, it doesn't look like that. I don't know where she is, but I did claim her, I think. I do have a storage for like different items where I pretty much got the equipment in. So apparently we get a pick between her and her. Anybody else down here? Nope. Just between these two. Um, let's look at the codex. Let's see if we find anything in here. No more characters. We just got this one. There's quite a few characters. You have to look at them to get rid of them. That's the annoying part. There's some special characters. Looking for the two that... Literally just sit there. For our selection. Alright, how about Swordsman? Alright, so she's a Swordsman. What does she do? So this game's combat is actually pretty weird because they have certain characters that you have to hold down and charge. Then they have some characters that you have to have perfect timing on. So yeah, it, it's really a game that you have to keep on your feet, but it is an auto battle game as well. So keep that in mind. All right, deals 330 damage to enemies in front. Blinds target for nine seconds decrease their skill and wait what do they mean about decrease their skill their cooldown or something or oh, the range okay so that just decreases the range altogether this is resist against sphere next every tip attack deals under damage to a random enemy and a chance to incapacitate them for 9 seconds and cooldown stops when capacitated. So they have no more cooldowns until that's over with. That's like every... Yeah, that's every 10, like 10 attacks, so yeah, I can say that's pretty good, but at the same time... I don't really know. I would, it would probably have to be something I gotta look at. When you receive damage, create a barrier for all enemies for 10 seconds. Prevent all attacks skills with defense penetration. Oh, prevent. Oh. She actually sounds pretty decent. I gotta find this other one, though. I don't know where she is. What does she look like? Hold up. Alright. She looked kind of like a mage. So, wait, whoops, I just went in there again. What about Sage? Is she a Sage? Yes, she is. We found her. Alright, her, her skill is deal 530 damage to uh, enemies in front. Skill inflicts burn damage for 10 seconds. 
the target is already burned, you receive 50 extra damage. Increase magic defense for the whole group. So next is Fire Seed. Every five attacks leaves a Fire Seed on the nearest enemy that deals 140 damage each, each time. When the Seed deals damage. So when the Fire Seed deals its last bit of damage, it explodes doing 300 damage to all nearby enemies and stuns them. That sounds pretty nice. I like that. But how is she on survivability? That's the question. Her last skill is Fire Tornado. It has a chance of summoning a Fire Tornado when doing normal attacks to push the enemy away. That does sound pretty nice. I wish I could see her skills or something. Because that would be pretty nice to actually see. Oh, she also has a passive too. All party members, it pretty much boosts everything. All around stats. Decrease incoming skill damage for party members. So what does she have for her passive? Chance to avoid an enemy skill attack for all enemies by 10%. And this one is the same as hers. I'm kind of torn. Which one do I actually want to go with? Alright, she sounds like a really good tank. Hold on, let's look at the team a little bit. So... I have one defender. And a healer. Not sure who I'm rolling with, though. Out of the actual party. Who did I last stop using? I stopped here. I finished this. Finished that. Finished that. Alright, so go back. This is where I am now. So this is what I'm rolling with. Okay. The only thing is, I don't know what these guys do. Deals damage to all, has a chance of paralyzing. Every type of attack decreases cooldown by 10. And that doesn't sound all that good. I definitely do want another tank though. So I might take her instead. And her skills those don't sound half bad. She sounds like a really good damager, though. Ah, oh, God, this is uh, quite the choice. Screw it, I'm going with her. I like her a lot more, though, to be honest. So we have a chance of summoning. Oh, it's pretty much like, um, what was it? God, I can't remember. It's pretty much like... Seven Knights, the way they um, try to give you like special requirements to summon. Alright, so we got these. I'm pretty sure we can summon something right now. Shop. Heroes. Oh, hello. Increase hiring chance for all disciples. I... So we got a disciple bundle right there. Oh, yeah, my bag is full. I forgot about that. Uh, let's go and get rid of some units. <laughs> I like Chris. I just kept him so... <laughs> I don't think I can rank him up yet. Yeah, I gotta have some stuff for him. Trade. Increase skills. This stuff is pretty much increased. What is she up to? XP, there we go. Let's go ahead and increase her as much as we can. Next level. 
Wait, no, don't don't do that to her. Cause she can be Ah So many five star potentials. I I remember what I was doing now. I didn't want to like get rid of any like characters that could become five stars. Just because I wanted like completion. Well, six stars actually, I mean. So I can use this dude. And she could become six star. Actually I already have her four star. Alright, let's go ahead and mix them together. As long as we make enough room for our summons, we we should be good. That's at least what I'm trying to do. Get rid of her. I can keep her because she goes to six. Get rid of him and her. I wanted to keep her because, you know, I'm a Succubus fan. And that's the last one. God, my inventory for that is pretty small, I gotta say. I got a mission completed. Achievement. Oh, a four contract. Okay, cool. Now I'm good. Trying to do stuff right now. Ooh. How did I not collect those? Heroes. Is there like a certain place where I can just grab these? No? What do I get out of this? That guy? I don't think I want that guy. Uh, where are these? Okay, yeah, they're in here. Oh, this is a selector. Who do I want to get? Let's... Let's see. We can look at their skills, right? No, we actually can't. Oh, I remember her. She was... She was really popular. Uh, as for this, I have no idea. Now that I have her, I'm pretty happy. The reason I'm revisiting this game is just because I wanted to see how it's doing. Because back then it was really fun. I just don't know who I want now. Like, so many characters. I, I want to go back to her just because there is a reason why she was so good. Not just because she was... She reminded people of Saber a little bit. <laughs> and multiple people and a hundred chance of stun for three seconds. And her cooldown is 18 seconds. So that's not half bad. She has a chance to resist stuns and paralyze. Which is actually pretty good. Every tip attack she deals damage to multiple people inside of the front. And she has 50% pierce. Ooh. I definitely like her. Uh, let's see if I can find any other character that I've seen. We already have her. We just got to get her to there. I like the look of her. I mostly like the whole goggle things. I just noticed I'm playing without my glasses. Yeah, I'm not blind or anything. It's just that it's a lot easier to see everything. Because it, like, increases my field of view. Ah, she looks weird. What is up with the episodes? Oh, for each chapter, I see. Uh, okay, there has to be more. Okay, yeah, there he is. What does he do? Damage skill deals. Okay. So, he could work together with her. Because once she stuns... He can deal damage next and does, like, extra damage. So that could be a thing, too. Wait, what am I doing? I need to look at the others. Resist the stun. And stuns enemies. Every, like, eight hits. So that's actually pretty nice.
And this transforms into him, which is a tank. And stuns. Resistance to stun. Like, Jesus, there's so much, like, stun resist in this game. Man, brings back memories, though. Where is the fish lady? That's what I'm looking for the most. Oh, there's the spider lady. What does she do? Deals that much damage. Jeez. Uh, That's a lot of MP you're asking for there. Jeez. Resist the poison. Use the skill attack against poison enemies. Increase the damage, okay. And also knock back. Uh... Alright. She's not half bad. But definitely not something I want, though. Okay, we're getting into a little bit of the characters we saw in there. Each strike consumes own MP. I haven't even gotten into much gameplay for you guys right now. I've just been, like, trying to figure everything out here. Alright, we'll save that one off. Let's go into the stage and see how we do. With the current team we have, since I can't find the one we just got last time. Well, when we logged in. Oh, whoa, what the hell? Hold up, I'm missing a member here. Jeez. Alright, let's see how this goes. Alright, I never was big on the story anyway, so... <laughs> let's go ahead and skip that. And right there. There we go. We got the archer a little bit. So that's what I mean about timing. You have to actually like time this skill to where you want it to stop. Like I can have it stop right there and stop him. Then I can just push stun. But it mostly depends on what icon they have. I think this one is charge. Yeah. I'm going to aim right here. gonna heal let's heal again like I made my team to be like more of harassment just to keep people stunned just to keep them away just to keep them back and why the rest of the team is just nailing on them. So that's pretty much the straightforward gameplay of like everything. The story is actually pretty interesting. You get a selection through like four different characters down the story. Uh, this was the only one that interested me because his like main ability is just to uh, paralyze everyone. Please stop. Uh, let's go ahead and summon something. Now we got plenty of rubies so we got these characters I don't think we can purchase those right oh these are costumes okay so they now have costumes that's pretty cool hey I like that costume the uh, black and white looks really nice like good and evil pretty much what it is Uh, that is really bulky. That one is weird. That one's weirder, but I like the staff and the orbs. That one kind of steampunkish. Okay, I definitely like that one. That was all right. That one just I don't even I don't even know. But let's go ahead and summon something and see what we get. 
Okay, I got some gold ones. So they're all three, but I have a chance of getting some that goes to six stars, like the Cinnatar. And meh. Nothing extremely off the charts. Alright, one more. Oh, never mind. I take that back. No more. Let me get rid of some units first. Then we'll go do another one with the time we have. I can't max it up anymore. Since she's pretty good, I'm going to... Whoops. I'm going to put in some people on her. Okay, I'll keep him. Good thing I did not have to get him from the um, four star selector. I think every game should have a selector. Like, no matter what kind of like summoning game you have, especially if it's summoning, you should always have a selector. For like pretty much different hero selectors you can give to like the players. That is always a must. Your players will thank you for it. Trust me. Alright, so we can buy this costume. Or we can... Summon more characters. Ah, eh, screw it. I want this instead. Because I like the costume. It looks pretty dope. Oh, we got Watcher. Watcher looks strange. But I'm not sure how long I'm going to keep this character, though. That's the question. She's really good. But at the same time... And... I'll leave that off to some people who actually know the game a lot better than me. If she's, like, extremely good down the road. Oh yeah, if I complete all of this, I get a 5-star contract. Oh yeah, and if I lo keep logging in, I get, like... Um... Yeah, it's this. I get a six-star contract. So I gotta keep logging in. This is what I get for returning to the game. Which is actually pretty nice. Apparently somebody sent me a request. I don't know if you'll regret that, but, you know, we'll see. Because <laughs> I actually plan on playing this on, like, just chilling. No waiting for downloads to be done and all that. Well, not downloads, uh... Waiting for, like, videos to render. So there also is PvP and tower climb and all that. Let's do a PvP match before we end off the video. Uh, one, we need to change that formation. That is, like, the weirdest formation ever. Ah, uh, we couldn't change it? Oh, well, I guess we're just going in. Oh, no, we can. Or not. What? Oh, there it is. I'm sorry, I'm blind. I can't see. Him. Her. Him. Her and her. Let's go with that. God, this is quite the team we're fighting. Jeez, game. I mean, give us something we can actually go up against. <laughs> this is a whole team of six stars, man. Like, she is. So it is auto battle for like the. For like PvP, apparently. Which does suck. Because you can't come up with like any like actual like, plans yourself. Like, go up and stun them, then you'll use this. The game just pretty much does it all for you. Alright, let's search for another opponent. Just. Well, that's kind of near our power level. Let's let's go ahead. Why not? Let's try to get some consecutive wins here. What do happens if we get three wins? I like this character. That's why I'm trying to get him to like max. You guys know I'm always about the gunslingers.
Oh, she got taken down. I mean, they almost killed us. I won't lie. They nearly killed us. Oh, yeah. We definitely won't be winning against that game. Come on. Jesus. <laughs> Guys gave us, like, freaking nearly 200,000 people to fight. Matchmaking is weird. But these guys, we can win with these. Let's see what happens when you get the consecutive. Consecutive win. I don't think anything special happens. Yeah, nothing special actually happens. But, yeah guys, that's that's the game. Pretty much it, all in a nutshell. I'll accept those, thank you. What is in here? I'll take those too. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. You guys can try out the game yourselves. I mean, it is a rather fun game. Just depending on how you get into it. Uh, if anything, I would recommend playing it on emulator. It's way more entertaining that way. On on your phone, I can't really say the same. But yeah, most of the games I get interested in are pretty much by emulator. If you guys are wondering which emulators are out there, here's a list of them right over here because I've get asked the question plenty of times of which emulator is like the best, which one do you use? I use KO Player personally, just because it's been like really good so far. It hasn't had any like graphics like missing or anything that most games have. So so far it's really good. Alright, that's the last match we're gonna do for now. So hope you all enjoyed, and if you guys don't know, I'm actually doing the Evil Within 2 playthrough right now. It will be up on the channel later to tonight, because I won't be able to stream. I've already like, it's already like nearly 6 p.m. So there's really no point in me streaming because I'm going to be editing and rendering everything before it uploads. So yeah, sorry about that, guys. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.